You're watching live at Spectrum tonight, Tim Woods. And excuse for an exit. Please welcome your hosts, Brett Glover and Mel Pollard. Mel Pollard, g'day. Brett Glover here for another episode of Live at Spectrum. We've got a killer audience in tonight. How are you guys? Yeah. I've got a funny feeling the roof's going to be blown off tonight. Uh, anyone watching from Wellington Shire tonight, it's been a busy week. Uh, I know it's Father's Day today, but of course I'm talking about hard rubbish. I don't know if it's hard rubbish anywhere in Gippsland at the minute. But um, I just want to tell you a quick story. I don't usually do this, but I've got a powered mixer that I've been wanting to throw out for five years, but I always thought I'd just, maybe I'd fix it, but I never got around to it. So today, I finally went out the front and put it down on the hard rubbish, thinking that I could just go back to it any time, pick it up anyway, before anyone picks it up. And I was halfway back to my house when a ute came roaring around the corner, and he jumped out, picked up and put it in his ute, and it went away. <laughs> that actually happened. That's not even, like, true. I just thought I'd share that with you. Hopefully we all got something out of that. Please welcome Mel Pollard! <laughs> Quickly! It's one of those that just happened before I came to the show tonight. And I thought that was so hilarious. People are going to love that story. I've got to work out how to tell it. But I'm glad that I practised on live television. <laughs> how are you, Mel? <laughs> I'm good. How are you? Mate, I'm great. Last time I saw you, you were about to uh, host Live at Spectrum on the last episode. Yes. And my last words were you to break a leg. Yes. But you've broken two arms instead. <laughs> What'd you do, man? Uh, you look like an archer. Yes, uh, just a couple of uh, wrist injuries and a bit of a back and a bit of a neck and a bit of a shoulder, but you know, otherwise pretty good. So what's the yeah. true story about how you did that? Oh, uh, look, I just I just slipped in a fast food restaurant, okay? Oh, really? <laughs> yes. Compo. Oh yeah, compo. <laughs> <laughs> What have you been telling people you did to do that? I just, you know, I was a pole dancer and uh, it was an unfortunate um, accident. That sounds yeah. a bit more like it. Yeah, it was nice. I, I quite like the pole story. <laughs> yeah, it's a much better story. Yeah. Hey, uh, not as good as the hard rubbish story, though. Hey, Aiden's birthday tonight. Yes, yeah. our director. Aiden's out the back. Let's all sing happy birthday really quickly. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Aiden, happy birthday to you. Give him a round of applause. <laughs> Aiden. He looks like he's turning about 32, Mel, but we uh, think it might be somewhere between 50 and 86. We're not really sure where he is. He's one of those un unbelievable people that has just held his age really well. Uh, now, you're in the hot seat on the internet tonight. Plenty of ways to get in contact tonight. Oh, there's always plenty of ways to get in contact. Uh, Carrier Pigeon was my chosen mm. until uh, the weather just went pretty bad. So... Uh, Leave the pigeons at home and maybe uh, get us on Snapchat or Facebook or you can even text us. You know, I still remember this number. I'm pretty sure it's 0411-148-977. You say double one, then one. Why don't you just say triple one? Oh, I don't know. Just is what it is, mate. Hey, right. uh, we'd like to hear tonight some dad jokes because it is Father's Day. Um, yeah, apparently. I, I don't know. I didn't get the memo. Like the story you told me about when you left your, your banjo in your backseat of your car. And then the next day, you saw the car being broken into, and there were five more banjos in there, <laughs> which will lead really well. Thanks, audience. You're very kind tonight. Very, very kind. If you've got a dad's joke, like that, please get in contact tonight uh, via Facebook as well. We've actually got a story about the Streslicky String Busters tonight, so sorry about the banjo joke there, boys. Uh, stay tuned for that one. Uh, we've got excuse for an exit in the studio tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Woo! Woo! They are tight and ready to rock. And also, uh, starting tonight's show, is it all right we get straight into the music tonight, yeah, Mel? Yeah, go for <laughs> it. I felt like there was something else you had to say. No, I'm good. I'm Let's just get ready. straight into the music then, Mel. Uh, our first guest tonight, he, uh, I don't know, he's about eight foot five, I think. Uh, the tall man in music, he's a gentle giant and he's here to play on a, what looks like a full-size guitar, but I think it's a ukulele. Please welcome Tim Woods. <laughs> Ukulele, <laughs> thank you. Um, my <clears throat> so um, I wrote this song because um, somebody told me to write a song about snorkeling because there's not enough songs about snorkeling. <laughs> um, I don't know who it was. It was, it was dark. So. Anyway. <laughs>
sunbeams from a movie scene sparkling in a blue stream glistening like a mirror ball underneath it all sunbeams sink down low and all the fish have colours that explode staring at me so Curious, oh, prettiness. All the fishes in the sea don't know what they mean to me, and I wonder if I'll ever want to go home. All the fishes seem to be swimming, all oh, so free. Think I'm falling in love under the sea. Think I'm falling in love. Sunbeams drift down low onto the coral that lies below. Who knows how it got there in the past or it's ever gonna last? Sunbeams drift on by to the rhythm of the rippled sky. A school of you in the ocean. Sunbeams from a movie scene, yeah, sparkling in a blue stream, glistening like a mirror ball <laughs> underneath it all. All the fishes in the sea don't know what they mean to me, and I wonder if I'll ever want to go home. All the fishes seem to be. Swimming all so free Think I'm falling in love Under the sea Think I'm falling in love Under the sea Think I'm falling in love I think I'm falling in love So I changed the instruments and uh, wasn't very well organised, but that's all good. Um. Something like that. So yeah, I'm a Gippsland person and um, I grew up in a little town called Churchill. Have you heard of Churchill before? <laughs> Went to school in Tarelgan. Have you heard of Tarelgan? <laughs> I'm a, my last name's Woods and I, my first real job was a job as a tree pruner, which is <laughs> kind of weird because um, it's something I didn't plan in working. I could say I branched out or something. There's lots of different <laughs> jokes. It is Father's Day. <laughs> but um, the good thing about it is that taught me a little bit about trees and um, how 
they're kind of pretty cool and stuff. And um, yeah, and the big tall trees are kind of important and uh, pretty simply. And so I wrote this song called Tall Trees and um, someone who, are, who I'm friends with said, oh, it's such a good song and um, I get it now. It's like tall trees, you're a tall person and your last name's Woods and, and all that. And it's like, no, no, it's just a song about tall trees. That's <laughs> It's really, that's all it's about. <laughs> Sun's in my eyes, but I don't really care. My eyes start to water when I stare at all the leaves falling through the air. All oh, the tall trees in my town. I miss the tall trees I used to hang around. I haven't been home in all so long. I miss the tall trees where I'm from. <laughs> making me smile all the way along if I could call you on the phone but I know that it wouldn't work when you're up there and I'm down in the dirt all the tall trees in my town I miss the tall trees I used to hang around I haven't been home in all so long I miss the tall trees where I'm from I love the yellow sun and the seal the rain. I've got my eyes peeled against the window pane. And the mountains are high and the river is long. I've walked many miles just to walk along those tall trees in my town. I miss the tall trees I used to hang around. I haven't been home in all so long I miss the tall trees where I'm from You know the tall trees in my town I miss the tall trees I used to hang around I haven't been home in all so long I miss the tall trees where I'm from I miss the tall trees where I'm from I miss the tall trees where I'm from Pete got pretty excited at the last song then. Did he? Yeah, yeah you get let out a little while there, Pete. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> uh, look, it's great to see you. Yeah, you too. It's we, we, been a long time. We have a rule for our cameramen uh, when, they, when they're filming, they're not to film above <laughs> that rail because uh, you see the ceiling there. Yeah. But tonight, I think that... Well, no, the camera's up a bit higher than usual tonight. In fact, this oh. is a bit uncomfortable. I think I need to get up. Have we got something to help me out? Don't Milk there? crate or something? Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Oh. Yeah, beautiful. Oh, okay. This yep. is an OH&S issue, aren't right? <laughs> you? Thanks, Brendan. Clap for Brendan, everyone. Yeah. Oh, yeah. If you need anything, just... Jesus, I'm, I'm... This isn't good. Is it... Yeah, should we ride on there? Yep. Hey, I'm you, man. This is, this is cool. This isn't the first time we've met. No. It's, it's been over 20 years. Is it? Yeah. Is it that long? <laughs> yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, so yeah. Tim was a Year 9 <laughs> student. And he was taller than me then as well. I remember you stuck out <laughs> like a sore thumb. And you were telling a story today that you reminded me of. Yeah, so this is really, really weird thing that happened. But um, so the first time I met this guy, it was, um, I didn't know, I, you remember more of the details because somehow I just, I was in this classroom and all the schools around the area got together. So there's people from Mully and there was this, so I was in this, band practice room with these professional, well, what seemed like professional guys from Mully who were the same age as me, but they were really good. And um, 
for some reason I was the singer in this band, right? And that was all you were telling me. Because you weren't the singer. But I said, give this guy a go. He <laughs> yeah. had so much personality. I was like, let's get him out the front. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And so I didn't know doing... his voice was going to be so low because we, <laughs> we, we, we were singing um, Fortunate Son. So Fortunate Son, right. <laughs> and I'm singing away, but fun folks are born. <laughs> Is it, you know, and you, I don't know, I only heard the song once or something. And, and you came in and you go like, oh, no, 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 it's more like, it's more like this. And can you give him an example? Like, oh, can't anymore, mate. Oh. It's too hard to sing Some that bone, <laughs> It just started doing a Jack Black. Yeah. And the guitarist in the band, it was very intimidating because the guitarist was like, yeah, no, we need another singer. This guy can't do it. You know? <laughs> and, so I hope he didn't cut your spirit. No, then... <laughs> Oh, so this is a very long-winded story, isn't it? But anyway, um, um, so after that, there was a performance, and I remember this hall, and we like I walked out, and it was like these classic halls, and there was a microphone on the thing, and and um, the band started playing, and and I was like, all right, here we go, he's gonna sing, and I think I tried to take it off, the, must have yeah. tried to make take it off the mic stand, and the lead fell out of the mic. <laughs> Already I was shitting myself because I thought <laughs> I'm going to have to sing and, you know, and then the lead falls out and I'm like, oh, no. And then I um, go to pick it up and I'm trying to put it in for the life of me. Like, I've done that. <laughs> I've done it before, but it just wouldn't go in. And, and so I was just like, oh, well. And, you know, I was looking at the audience and kind of making it into a bit of a joke. And, and um, it was very – and then everyone was like, oh, yeah, yeah, it's funny and whatever. And then – the teacher from Moe, whose name's Grumpy. They call him Grumpy because he's very <laughs> intense. David Williams, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he bailed me up after the show and said, like, he got about this close to me yeah. and said, like, that was the best thing I've ever seen. That was amazing. <laughs> 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 you handled yourself really good. And I was like, oh, yeah, okay. This is the freakiest thing I've ever... I <laughs> But isn't he mesmerising? Like, loads of personality, and I'm, I'm so glad that you're here tonight. I've, yeah. I've seen you over the last few years via uh, social media. Yeah. As uh, Tim Woods and the, and the Dirty Shoes as yeah. well. that's it. Playing music, and, and the mm. ditties are so catchy and, and personable. Oh, and, like, here I am, like, my fine crafted humour at the start, and no good. Yeah. You come out and say a couple of words, and everyone's all over you like a rash. <laughs> fantastic. It's, uh, it's good to <laughs> just make it on, like, because, yeah, I'm, I'm sad news that you guys will be finishing up at some point, or pretty soon. Pretty yeah. soon, a few so, more episodes left. Don't worry. So good be to make it on. Finale. While you're still around. Now you're down in Melbourne. You're part of that great yeah. Melbourne music scene, which is like known all over the world. Is is that a real welcoming, uh, lovely, brotherly and sisterly scene? Uh, me, uh, I don't know. Not the one that I'm involved in. No, no. <laughs> uh, no kind of. I've car You got to carve out, you know, your own niche in the yeah. whole thing, and. Um, yeah, it's and that I think is good for musicians moving to Melbourne because you, there's so many people that you can carve out your quirky folk audience, you know, yeah. in that sort of space. But um, having said that, it's a pretty rock and roll city, and if you're in a rock band, then like there's so many steps you can take to kind of there's a pathway. Yes, in. and some of the best I got to say, I don't know, I haven't really bothered to go out and see them, but um, there's lo probably the best uh, rock bands in the world are probably in Melbourne playing in some laneway mm -hmm. gig, you know? Yeah. So, um, and they're pretty hardcore, you know? And you seem to be in with uh, with that group. Uh, there's the Recklink Community Cup, which yeah. has been running since 1993, where they, they get two uh, football teams to mm. uh, play off, and they're all members of the music scene in Melbourne. Yeah. Um, you've been lucky enough to, to play in that the last few years. Well, the um, they... <laughs> Well, what happened was, is the, <laughs> the, the guy that founded the cup yes. back in 93, he uh, was looking for a house. I, um, he, his name popped up and he came around to my house and we were going to like, I was like, uh, he was going to live with me. Mm -hmm. And, um, and then he ended up doing that. And then we were like hanging out and he was like, oh, yeah, do you want to play do you want to be ruck in the rock dogs? Yeah, there's <laughs> you know, an like, idea. What a handy ruck, eh? <laughs> so it was it was a combination of I was just in the right spot at the right time kind of thing. But yeah, um, but yeah, but that is that is beautiful and and amazing. These um, musicians that are um, all in bands, all in different bands, and there's hip hop people and there's lots of um, 
yeah, just diverse people in the in the group as yep. well. There's there's all creeds and cultures and personalities and sexualities and all that sort of thing playing um, footy in this. You all get on the field and beat the bejesus out of each other. Yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> all it. <for> charity. <laughs> yeah, and there's streakers and there's, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Now, Mel Pollard, you've 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 been breaking bones lately. Did you know that Timmy actually smashed his knees in the last game as well? So I didn't, but I was yeah. actually yeah. hoping you'd tell us more about the streakers. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> right, yeah. You yeah. had people online as well getting in contact yeah, tonight. Yeah, look, you know, I'd like a bit more action to be honest, uh, and <laughs> online too. Uh, oh, right, um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, Claudia has actually written and said, "Hell yeah," which um, that's cool. I yeah. like it. I'd, I'd do a hell yeah too. Cool. And um, I got I got one from uh, Michelle, and she said to sell Celebrate Father's Day. Can Mel please show us her dad dancing? Well, yeah. look, the last time I danced, I did this. So uh, no, I'm just oh, kidding. No. There was no dancing. No, not happening. Yeah. Not happening. Not, oh, on, really? not on live TV. No. No. Uh, computer, someone's no. got to do it. No, yeah. no, not me. Not, not this step ladder. We'll get Brady Tippett out here to do that later. Yeah. Um, you got another song for us. Yeah, I do. Yeah. And this is actually the first song I ever, when you first popped up online again, I'm going, hey, there's that tall kid from, from 1999. Is that when I was doing a live... Um, stream when I should have been working. Yeah, that's one. <laughs> we all got on and said, man, come on live at Spectrum. You're going, yeah, yeah, stop posting stuff. I'm not supposed to be doing this. Yeah, supposed that's to be at work. Right. <laughs> well, I'm going to welcome you back and I'll let you introduce the song. Okay. Audience, please make him feel welcome again. I'll get it down off of you. Uh, Mr. Tim Woods. <laughs> um, thanks for having me and thanks for being here. Like, it's so good to play in, you know, for PV, but for you guys as well. And um, so I'm just going to finish with a song um, I wrote when I was pruning trees around power lines. And um, this is a song about positive, negative things all intertwined and the balance between that um, stream of consciousness. And it's also about possums that walk along power lines. So <laughs> it's called A Tale of a Possum. Do any um, dad, daggy dad dances? This is your time. This is your moment. I'm not singing until someone does. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, on the eighth day of August, a mother passing did cry. Found a husband on the wire, up in the sky electrified. Said, gather around all your possums. Before we all wind up dead She got all the animals together And this is what she said She said, keep your tail, keep your tail Keep your tail up in the sky If you ever go walking on a wire Keep your tail up by and by Keep your tail, keep your tail Keep your tail up in the sky If you ever go walking on a wire Keep your tail up by and by well, the weeks went by and another And more possums started to stray Mother possum saw a baby possum On a wire on a sunny day She said, get down from there, young boy You're really in trouble now But seeing as though you're walking on a wire I better tell you how right now She said, keep your tail, keep your tail Keep your tail up in the sky if you ever go walking on a wire, keep your tail up by and by. Keep your tail, keep your tail, keep your tail up in the sky. If you ever go walking on a wire, keep your tail up by and by. By and by. Walking on the line, and all the other possums did a watch. And he kept his tail up like she said, and avoided electric shock. And when he got down safely, all the possums cheered him on. 
When they asked him how he did it, he told them how it was done. He said, keep your tail, keep your tail, keep your tail up in the sky. If you ever go walking on a wire, keep your tail up by and by. Keep your tail, keep your tail, keep your tail up in the sky. If you ever go walking on a wire, keep your tail up by and by. Keep your tail up by and by. Keep your tail up by and by. called Short Stories. Where'd you record this one, Timmy? Uh, recorded it at a mate's place in St Kilda. That's the way to do it these days. Yep. <laughs> You've got a few songs. Keep your tails up, not, not on that one, but Snorkeling, that's on there. Yeah, yep. The other ones, I've got a website as well, like Timwoods with a Z.com, Timwoods.com, yeah. And uh, there's another song, uh, another CD with the uh, possum song on it, but um, I've run out of copies. Like, I <laughs> <don't>... <laughs> you didn't want to bring it in just in case we took them off. So you can get them, yeah. <laughs> So you can get them digital, on yeah, online. That's the way to go. On the internet, that thing. Mate, it is great to see you, and thank you so much for coming to the studio. And uh, you. you're back at the Acoustic Club, the Gippsland Acoustic Club today. Yeah. You were saying too. Great. So you, you grew up in that area and, and knew that, that yep. if you had headlined there, you'd made it. So yeah. today, congratulations, you've made yep. it. That's well it. done. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't go anywhere, mate. Don't go anywhere. Just stay right here. Okay. Mel Pollard. Yes, that's my name. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah, okay, You're good. a social person. Yeah, I, I, I'm very, very social. <laughs> yeah. um, love a good night in. Uh, so, Michelle, love this guy. Yeah. Michelle loves you. Oh, cool. Just in case you want to know. Uh, Catherine said that there's some um, daggy dancing going on uh, here, there, wherever you are. Catherine, excellent. Thank you. Excellent. You should share that with us. And yeah. Judy said, go, Timo. Do you know Judy? Yeah, she's my mum. <laughs> oh, hey, Tim's mum, Judy. That's lovely. I love it. Awesome, as you know all about yes. those daggy dad dancers. There's plenty of daggy dads and he could have been dancers or not. If you get an opportunity like that, I say take it. Always, <laughs> I always. Think so, yeah. Very good. Thanks, Timmy. Now, as <laughs> Timmy, do you mind? Timmy. You know, he was a little kid. Actually, you weren't. You were really big. Uh, so I always called him Timmy then as well. Uh, look, we're going to go to a bit of a story. Where did the camera go? Over here. Thanks very much. Um, the Strez Lucky String Busters have been great friends of this show for the last four years. Uh, before we start a live at Spectrum, there was a documentary that was made by a fellow by the name of Sebastian Broadbent. Um, it is a very well made documentary um, and it hasn't been out in the public that much as of yet. And uh, when we got the opportunity to show a little bit of that for you tonight, we uh, took him up on that opportunity. So, ladies and gentlemen, please uh, welcome back the Strez Lucky String Busters. Going up the Crip Creek, going in and run. Going up the Crip Creek, have a little fun. Roll my bridges to my knees. Wait in the Cripple Creek when I please. Go in, go in, go. We're all evil, evil men that work in the brown coal industry and I guess we pay our penance by playing music for free for our community, that's what we do. Um, we don't look to make money off it, we just like to refill the well we all drink from. Alright, we're going to get going, sick of me talking. Folks, welcome them back, a big you know, welcome back for the Streslecky Stream Bus. <laughs>
Well, we were playing at um, home on the Wednesday night, just rehearsing on the Wednesday nights, and people would say, because, because there's so many and we've got so many friends, people would say, where can we get to see us? And we weren't actually playing anywhere as such, so I think the suggestion was made just to have our rehearsal in the corner, which is how it started all, you know, oh, we can't make too much noise, there's people eating, you know, shh, shh, And then people saying, turn around, we can't hear us, we can't hear us, you know, oh, and, and off we went, and then it just got bigger than Ben-Hur. <laughs> A few of the blokes here had never played before and they were absolutely shitting their pants. And then they realised, well, everyone clapped, because people doing this to you is a big thing. People coming up and saying, you're all right, mate. That goes a long, long way. I think we're just sharing what we're learning. Like Johnny Werner has the music group in here on the second Wednesday of the month, and that's getting bigger and bigger. Then we had people ringing up, people that I'd only ever read about and, and, and idolised that would come and stay, share in the community spirit and come back, not only just play once, but come back. Peter Rowan twice, Mike Compton's been four times, Martha and Jackson I think have been five times, the White Top Mountaineers. We've had a few people that have tried to put their finger on it, that tried to say, oh, I think I know what you guys are all about, you know, you're going down this. And I'm going whoosh, 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 you know, all we do is get out there, meet people, play music and, and have fun. Yeah. I mean, our community, and don't get me wrong, we were hit as hard, just as hard as the rest of Victoria. I lost family in the fire. I mean, John lost neighbours and their community lost lives. And so had Rambo. Yeah, there was no he across the road perished, but you know, I mean, our outcome was still much better than a lot of other people. You know, we saved our house. And we joke about this organisation being a, more a, a middle-aged men's self-help group than a than a band, but yeah, in times like that, it's really true. Exactly Just to get together, is. get together and and uh, have a few beers and and you know, some weeks we hardly play a note. We just sit round and debrief, debrief, tell a few stories, have a you know, mm. good old yarn. Other weeks we work really hard mm. on the music, mm. but you know, at that time, after you know, during the recovery period from the bushfire. It was really important to me to have these guys around. You know, it was one thing, once a week I could come down here and it was a bit of normality probably a and a bit of sanity. You know, it's just, you know, being able to help other people out helps you along too. Still, yeah. People still suffering out there. And, mm. you know, yeah. so. But no one in this community dropped their heads. They, they were all looking for someone to help and I think that helped us out. I mean. We're only as strong as the community around us, and and to see people just fixing fences and grabbing their own supplies of barbed wire and posts and going out and helping other people out, I mean, geez, to, for us to get up and play a couple of hours of music, geez, that's, yeah, that's a freaking fun. holiday. That's nothing. Yeah, it's nothing.
I think as a male, we don't tend to tell anyone what's, what's going on, what the problems are. And sometimes we hear secondhand that someone's having a bit of trouble. Getting back together and playing music, it's very uh, healing. They've all got special, like, they've all got special little gifts that they give. It's a bit bloody corny, but everyone has uh, some way of finding something out about someone. And, you know, if you're having a bit of trouble, if you've been in hospital and your driveway's washed away, we say, right, hey, let's, what can we do to fix this, you know? And that goes across the community as well. Like, if we hear of someone that we know that needs a bit of help or a bit of a kick in the ass, well, that sort of happens as well. I can't put my finger on what it is that makes the string busters work, and I don't think I ever will. Um, and if I think I do, well then I'm going about it the wrong way because we need to just keep it going as it is. Otherwise, um, yeah, why change a good thing? The Streslecky String Busters are great friends of this show and they really are more than just a band and uh, hold true to that mantra of that music can bring the community together. Uh, we hope that we come across the Streslecky String Busters before this season draws to a close. Uh, coming up, you've all been giving in the audience a couple of these little things. They're not edible, they're to put in your ears. Not because the next band is horrible, it's because they're fantastic and they are really going to rock your socks off. Please get ready for our central Gippsland of friends. Excuse for an exit.
Thank you. Uh, that was our debut release here again, and uh, this next one hasn't been released yet. It's called Manic, and it's a bit of fun. I've been waking up all night, thinking about you like an addict, addict. I can seem to break the habit. Just one taste, you know I gotta have it. Lost my head, and now it's up the planet. Lately, I've been feeling kind of manic. Well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, you look like you're really enjoying yourself. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> I took my earplugs out about halfway through that song. I really wanted to capture every little bit of fidelity that was coming out of your band then. Thank Fantastic you. energy. I'll get you to introduce your other band members, please. Yeah, um, this is Elise, or Lee on lead guitar. Isn't she amazing? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I love that solo every time. Um, this is Ryan on drums, or Ed <laughs> And he is also incredible. And I shouldn't have said incredible because now I have to say everyone's incredible, which they are. <laughs> they are. <laughs> and this is Dean on bass. Okay. All right, so three of you fr are from Moe and one of you is not. Who's the imposter tonight? That guy over there. Oh, man, Dean. Oh, well, <laughs> well, welcome to Gippsland. Dean, are yeah, we... Uh, <laughs> he's having a nice time on a Sunday night. This is like this. Imagine what Saturdays are like in Gippsland, man. It was like this on a Sunday. <laughs> Pretty good. So how did you three meet when you first... Uh, at Murray, were you at school together? Or? Yeah, school. Um, Lee and I were mates for yeah, ages, yeah, forever. And we just decided to do the whole band thing one year. And um, Ryan, like Ryan was like in other bands for a while there, but like then his band sort of ended, and we were like, "Boy, Ryan, come this way." And no, no. Yeah. Who, who was the other band? Which band did you leave, Ryan? Oh, uh, just some high school projects. Doesn't want to name know, them. All the years I was like in high school. In <laughs> 
consistency. All's well ends well. You've got a fantastic uh, a band here. So when did you two, you've said you've known each other for a long time. Yeah. Were yeah. you always what, pots and pans when you were five? Or um, we ukuleles? always pulled the school bus together when we were in primary school. So, yeah. Um, that guy called Grumpy, who was yes. under his rule for a while. Yeah. David yeah. Williams has produced the entire show Actually, here tonight. He's, yeah. he's yeah. responsible for our band name. Oh, really? Yeah, because he locked Lee and I in a hallway and wouldn't let us leave until we came up with a band name. And so you came up with an excuse for an exit. I that's like, fantastic. I'm hungry, Mr. Williams. Yeah. David Williams, grumpy. Yeah. So what do you think they call him grumpy? Is he actually? Um, <laughs> he's like what you said. He's intense, but he rocks it. It's who yeah. he is. And excuse probably wouldn't exist without him. <laughs> well, definitely wouldn't. Not at least excuse for an exit. So, Were you guys doing guitar lessons at school? Were you part of your music program? Um, I got all the guitar lessons and everything like that. Lee just taught herself online and she's way better than me. So... Go figure. All that money for nothing. <laughs> That's the way to do yeah. it. And you, who's writing the songs? You're writing these together? Or We're you... writing them together, yep. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's good. You've got to split all the profits. I think this is going to go huge. Um, how's that process look? You, someone's gone, I've got a guitar lick, I've got some words. Anything, anything. That's what we love. We love writing. Like, it's taken us so long to actually get to the point of, like, recording and performing and everything because we just love writing. And Was that song's it... been never done. Oh, yeah. yeah We've yeah, got, yeah. like, 100 unfinished songs. We can improve. They're never done. So yeah. getting a deadline on when to record and getting everything done was good. So how do you know when to start playing a song? How do you know when a song's done? You don't know when a song's done. It's never done. That's the <laughs> thing. A song is never done. Like, even the ones that are recorded, we're like, oh, we should have done that. We should have done that. Just got to book in some recording time and then that's yeah. the deadline. It's not getting any different from there. So are you guys all based in Melbourne now? Uh, I'm up there. Yeah. Dean's up there. Uh, we do a lot of driving back and forth. Up yeah. There. We rehearse somewhere in the middle most of the time once a week. So yeah, we make it work. Yeah. Just wondering how that looks, because although if you're playing your own music, and I, and I take it for granted you're probably writing together from the get-go, were there a couple of covers at the start? I'd love to know what kind of covers you were doing when you got together. Oh. A lot of Paramore. <laughs> a lot of Paramore, yeah. Blondie, <laughs> no doubt. Oh, ah, yeah. right. Yeah. yeah. It kind um, of seems to follow that sort of way. So you yeah. find yourself going down to the Melbourne band scene. Yeah. Uh, is a lot of work to be had down there? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. There's as many yeah. gigs as you want to do, really. Yeah. There's heaps of opportunities. For sure. Like yeah. Tim mentioned before, it's pretty big with rock, so there's always someone looking to gig with someone else. and yeah. If you're willing to play for free, they'll have you. <laughs> yeah. amazing, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Are there other Gippsland bands you're sort of getting to know because they're doing the same trip? Yeah, well, yeah there's quite a few, actually. I've um, always been big fans of the Swallows. Yeah. Whenever they make it down to Melbourne, I catch, like, try to catch their gigs, that is. Yeah. Yeah, yeah wicked good. Are the Gippsland bands making it up to Melbourne? I'm sure it's happening. Heaps. Oh, my gosh. I don't know. I feel bad. I'm like uh, on camera. I'm trying to remember all their names. But yeah, of course. <laughs> I'll just um, put a quick shout out to the Spitting Swallows again because um, Chris Johnson, the singer, um, he joined us in the studio, actually, and we did a duet with him. Well, I did a duet with him um, just recently. So that'll come out on our EP. Okay. Soon, so when's so this all coming out? Um, as soon as we get ourselves organised. We have yeah. To, yeah. Like, getting there. Getting there. All the songs are recorded. We just need to, like, organise ourselves. Beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> and you mentioned you're doing a bit of, bit of teaching as well. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and you're, yeah. you're playing on the, the ukuleles? Yeah, um, ukulele and guitar. I teach a few little kids, yeah. So you and Big Timmy Woods, they've got a bit in common as well. Yeah, yeah. You're rocking out with the kids on the ukuleles? Um, no, we're doing like You Are My Sunshine and Happy Birthday and all that kind of stuff. See, I'm like, I'm, I've got two sides, you see. Have your students seen you doing this? Um, I told their parents, I was like, I don't know if this music is appropriate, <laughs> but I'll show you and then it's up to you if you show the kids. And they all did. They all showed their kids our music. I'm oh, like, yeah. all right then, okay. This and is very appropriate. <laughs> I had a little, a little kid who's like, I didn't know you played that kind of music. Yeah. I thought you'd play more acoustic kind of music. Yeah. And I was like, mm. So sorry to little Junior thought you were about to play You Are My Sunshine tonight, but we never yeah. know. The, the show is keeping on going. Uh, Mel Pollard, he's been on the socials. I've got no doubt the, uh, there's been a meltdown on the internet. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, so we're offline at the moment. Uh, no, just kidding. Uh, <laughs> lots of in it. We are... Get that? Good. Uh, Peter said nice. Really nice. Thank you, Peter, for those three words. Awesome. Is that cameraman, Pete? <laughs> no, that's good. Cameraman, that cameraman. Yeah, I'm um, Hayley said, hey, everyone from Italy. Do we know who Hayley is from Italy? Hey, everyone from Italy. Oh, photographer <laughs> Haley. Oh, sorry. No, you don't. 
disregard. We know who she is. You don't because yeah. we're special. All right, good. Um, in Alicia, jokes, yeah. yeah. In jokes. I just love a good in joke. Um, Alicia said, yes, Queens. Uh, uh, Tyler says, love the band but isn't Adele's makeup banging? If yeah. I had my glasses on. Tyler I'd... actually helped me do it. Ah. So, yeah. Hey, Mel, what do you reckon yeah. a bit of Gina Davis going on there? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, You've been told, yeah. you yeah. told yeah. that before? Thanks, Tyler yeah. and Janice. Yeah. <laughs> um, and Nikki says, well done, guys, from the startup. Um, and Caitlin said, well, this was actually before, so we're just going to have to go back in time a little bit. Uh, keen for Legends, excuse for an exit, waiting for classic Adele camera looks. So um, you're going to have to do that. So you're going to have to step it up. Which camera is that the one? Yeah. That's the one. <laughs> <laughs> it's awkward, isn't it? It is so yeah. awkward. <laughs> I don't know. But you're just going to have to do it, okay? okay. Just do it. Hey, what, what, what was the Queen's gag? Was the Queen's gag? Yeah. Oh, I was just laughing because Ryan and Dean are in the band too and... <laughs> well, there you go. I thought it might have been a bit more to it. They're pretty. <laughs> they are very pretty. Now, the first song you played tonight was Here Again, and there's a film clip for that. It goes for four minutes and six seconds, and it's somebody swimming underwater. Yeah, yeah. How did they hold their breath for four minutes and six seconds? <laughs> well, I did a lot of training. Yeah. So, yeah, a lot of sw training in the swimming pool. I couldn't stop watching. Um, yeah, it's actually... Um, on played through and then... Oh, OK. That's a special effect. <laughs> All right. And you've got another clip too, Take Me Out. I think you're going to play that song for us next. Yep. And the clip, the first time I saw the clip, I thought, oh, man, Brett Tippett did it at Spectrum Studios. You know where we all had dinner tonight? Yeah. It looks like you're in there in that yeah. film clip. No, it's my, back, my parents' backyard. That's a cool little place. <laughs> Make sure you check out the film clips as well. Yeah. Do you, would you like to introduce your next song? Yeah, sure. Please welcome back Excuse for an Exit. Hello. Oh, I uh, almost forgot to turn the volume on my guitar there. Um, this next song is called Take Me Out, and yeah, we'll see if this works. <laughs>
Thank you. Thanks, Dane. <laughs> Good for answers, ladies and gentlemen. It's been an awesome night on Live Spectrum again. Mel, how are you going over there? I'm really well, actually. Who's got a sister, Ruby? Is that your sister? Yeah. She just wanted to send her love and she oh. says you're freaking amazing. Oh. I just added the freaking bit. I love you, Ruby. <laughs> um, <laughs> I miss you so much. <laughs> um, and Tom says the whole fan bam is watching. So do we know who Tom is? Yep, yep. That's, uh, that's well, my mum's joint account with my stepdad. So that's the fan bam. Beautiful. <laughs> All right. Uh, take me out. Best video ever. Check it. Katie said that. Yeah, so Katie must is. really like it. Do it. <laughs> um, Grave you. Uh, Please <coughs> make a mistake, Lee. Michael, just ignore that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's pretty much it. <laughs> well, on behalf of Live Spectrum, before you guys go tonight, we'd like to uh, give you an award. It's for your wonderful performance on Live Spectrum. We've made this plaque especially for you. <laughs> Excuse for an exit. How's that, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> pretty good. <laughs> Actually, we, we didn't do this. You did this yourself, didn't you? <laughs> yeah. yeah. You've got you to explain this because I was a ripper. Can you turn it on? Um, yeah. it, the, okay, one side doesn't turn on, but the other side does. So it's supposed to turn on like that, but the other one's stopped working. There you go. Today, Everyone so. <laughs> needs one of these uh, in the house. Great for a bathroom mirror. We're going to keep that one. I like Down the gaffer there. on the back. That's awesome. The gaffer on the back's a nice <laughs> touch as well. Um, look, we're looking towards the... We'll see, sorry, it's getting oh, awkward right. and close up here. We're getting yep. towards the... Uh, Final episode that will be in Spectrum Studios for Live at Spectrum after four years of programming is going to be the next episode with our special guest. And again, I can't see at the back, Jade Empress is coming in. And, oh, Michael War is coming back. Sweet. Great friend of the show. So uh, that's pretty exciting. And again, we'd like to thank tonight Tim Woods and Excuse for an Exit for uh, being on tonight's show. Ladies and gentlemen in the audience, you've been fantastic. Uh, we'll see you next time. <laughs> I'm Live at Spectrum. Happy Father's Day. Bye. <laughs>